I am alive. Short video game review. Our nameless and personality free protagonist returns to the town of Haventon, which is quite hit by the event, a massive catastrophe, including earthquakes. For example, you start on the bridge leading into the city, and it's broken off in sections, and underneath you can see not only the raging river, but you can see where the river cuts off into a waterfall that you really get a sense should not be there. And in many parts of the game, you can literally look down into the abyss and see where the earth has cracked and see all the spikes and, and how steep a drop down it would be. He is there to reunite with his estranged wife Julie and their daughter Mary. And he very early on meets a young girl and starts getting into helping other survivors. And he also finds these gangs of normal people who have return to the law of the jungle, and you of course have no choice but to hold them to it. You have to kill them, there's no glory in it, but it's necessary. These are clearly not inherently evil people, they've just succumbed to their baser instincts. And it is just about survival. The unique aspect of the psychological game in dealing with opponents where you have extremely few bullets. A, a full clip pretty much doesn't happen in this game. You'll find one bullet at a time and you won't be able to save so many bullets that you'll actually have what appears to be a full clip for the pistol you have. You will not want to shoot very many, you'll want to threaten them and have them back up against something that you can push them into, such as a fire or off the edge of a steep drop. However, given how strict the angle has to be, they have to be facing against the, the drop very precisely and you can't just hold them up forever. It's... yeah, it's... it's frustrating when it really doesn't need to be. It is, however, a very interesting aspect of the game, and it's helped further along by the fact that you can't really win a melee fight if there's more than one person there. Climbing is pretty much the same as it is in the Prince of Persia games. You have far more agency than in Assassin's Creed, and the climbing and exploration is also helped greatly by, it's, it's by far better than the combat, the stamina meter, which prevents you from just climbing and jumping however much you might want to, in that you will eventually have to plant a piton and rest, or climb onto somewhere where you can just stand and recharge your stamina, or use healing items to recharge your stamina. You can always speed up actions, a feature that really should be in pretty much every action game, if you ask me, and this will, of course, really drain your stamina. As will jumping. Now, the... The game is quite linear, and this in itself is okay, or would be okay, if it wasn't also so... Basically, if you play on any of the three difficulties other than the easiest, you don't have unlimited retries. You can't just go back to the most recent checkpoint. You will have to do the entire level over without necessarily knowing what you did wrong, what you should have done. and. That's an unfair way of setting it up. A limited amount of retries can work. I would argue it does in Hitman Codename 47, if it is awkwardly implemented there, because that's a game where you kind of know how you're going about things, and things don't... Yeah, so if, if you mess up just a little, you get a little bit more of a chance, but not necessarily too many. But in this, enemies might appear right out of the blue, and you don't even really know what's happening until it's already too late. It's also worsened by the fact that the second half 
of the game feels like every combat situation feels like the people making it suddenly thought they were making a first-person shooter and it doesn't feel like it's been playtested properly. The game is very short at only seven hours long and there's really not a lot of replayability. It does really get the dark dystopian post-apocalyptic realistic world and the climbing is quite a bit of, of fun and very very tense and the psychological game aspect is unique but that's all the game has to offer. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.